Okay. One suggested Damn about growing up. I didn't grow up in Tishomingo. I grew up closer to Fillmore, Oklahoma. Born August 29, 1965 in Johnston Memorial Hospital, which now is Mercy Hospital. Had fun going to the slab, which you can't get to now because people own it. That was one of the fav my favorite swimming places. Even though I just sit there in the in the in the water, I don't. I can't swim. And then another swimming, favorite swimming place is under Milburn, Blue River Bridge at Milburn. Well, last time I went down there, that was, was it last year or year before? Alicia took me and Harley. I failed going back up. They need to put some darn steps down, make some steps where people who are have disabilities or handicapped can get down there easy. I nearly fell going down that hill. They've concreted the gravel. I'd like to go back down there and take a video. I think that was the year before last. And I went to school at Fillmore Elementary in Fillmore, Oklahoma, not Fillmore, California, or Oklahoma City. <laughs> Fillmore, Oklahoma. Fillmore School was the oldest school still in operation until August 12, 1991. Somebody set it on fire. My mom cooked it with the cook there for. I forgot to ask her. I know it's been more 40 or 50 years, 60 years. I can't remember. Well, she was a, a cook at Milburn, too, after Hemel burnt down. In 19. Well, when I was born, I was born with one eye, cleft palate, and I've had 20-something surgeries. The biggest one was in 79, I had major surgery. My brain started to swell, swelling when they took me in for reconstructive surgery and they brought me back out. I should have said no the second time. I didn't. I should have said no. I didn't want to go with, through with it. In 1980, they, well, 79, I graduated from Fillmore and went to Melbourne High School. And that was when Dickerson Dairy was being built. I sat back there. I come home from school one day and went out there to sit on the big old mound of dirt to watch them build that silo. I didn't watch them build the whole thing. <laughs> then I'd go and I'd, well, when I was out of school, out of school after I graduated high school in 83. I'd be up, still be up when they went to milk the cows at 2 in the morning because I was sewing. My aunt got me started on Kleenex holders on plastic canvas and I taught myself the rest. I'd be up all night and I'd go down there, watch them milk. 
I could just hear the sounds of that now. Even see the milk coming through the jar on the wall. And I'm just gonna have to wait a minute, Junior, and stay out here for a while. And uh, I'd go, then I'd instead of standing there at the door watching the milk, the milk the cows through the door, I went in and sat on the steps and watched them milk the cows. They, they got up every morning at 2 and started at 2 in the afternoon. How I wish we still had that dairy. And I wish my dad was still alive. I wonder if we'd still, they'd still be in the dairy business today. He suffered three years with cancer colon cancer. It went to his brain, into his lungs, December 22nd, 1987, and he passed away. He was, we buried him Christmas Eve. Not a day has gone by that I haven't thought of my daddy since all them days. All the fun we have in the field. Every time we'd go over to the field to feed the cows or take Daddy and Uncle Fate and Uncle Frank. I guess, did Uncle Frank help us? I can't remember. Take them something to eat. And when summer coming, Time to irrigate. We got out there in the irrigation, irrigation, and got wet. Oh, that water had come down hard and was cold. It felt good on a hot day. We we had a place up north of Fillmore, where my brother James took from my mom. Had another brother signed it, signed it over to him. That should have stayed with my mom. I love going over to the other place. We had a little house there, but somebody set it on fire. That was long after my daddy was gone. I love going over. I remember when we rode. I mean, I jumped out of the back of the pickup. I did like David. I knocked the breath out of me, out of myself. I couldn't get my breath. I guess I learned my lesson not to jump out of the back of the pickup, off the back of the pickup. Was fun living in the country. I hate this town. I wish I'd had this paid off house paid off. Get a little house built in the country. I hate living in this town. Nobody's here. I got a niece, but does she ever bother to come and see me or bring the, my great nieces to see me? No. Her boyfriend was supposed to mow the lawn. He hasn't come and done it. Mom mowed coming. She ain't. Her back is killing her and she can't do it, but she mowed a little today. I'm just, I don't want none of my family around me when I die. I don't want them in my, t at my funeral is what I don't want. Three brothers and they don't give up about me. I'm just tired of it. Well, I'm going on about me. Well, I know one gave me, suggested me, tell me about 
my life living here. Well, I apologize. I should have just. We had fun at night. While they were milking, I would go and walk the figure eight road, our driveway, our driveway, and uh, the road leading up to the dairy barn. It was figure eight. The moon would be shining brightly at night. I'd be walking it. I need to get some exercise. Yep. I don't remember how many times I walked until I decided I'd go in there and watch them milk the cows. But would you believe I wouldn't drink that milk? No, they had to buy my milk for me because I wouldn't drink that milk. Well, I drink it twice. Oh, it's good. And I was like, no, I don't like it. I want my milk from the stores. Well, I'll continue later, y'all. This wasn't very good. I should have kept, instead of going back and forth between the years, I should have went through the years instead of the 60s, then I could have went through the 70s, then the 80s. But I didn't. This one's all messed up. And here I am. I ain't even looking at to see if there's any birds in the trees. I don't see none. I don't even hear no birds now. Well. Yeah, I heard one somewhere. There's one flying in there. Got one bird, but he was flying. He wasn't in the tree. Well, sorry for rambling around. Next time I'll have it all organized. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. That squeak, I had to let Junior in back in the house. He wouldn't wait till I got through. Oh, well, I guess this will be the last video of the day. Because I am going to bed. I know. I got my days and nights mixed up. Go to bed during the day and wake up in the wee hours of the morning. Well, I know I should try to go. I try to go to sleep at night, but then I don't sleep but two hours. Well, sorry for rambling around about my days and nights being mixed up. Well, good evening and God bless. And. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and listening.